Many of you might have heard about the theorem of Pythagoras theorem and today we're going to talk about the Pythagoras theorem but before that we all must know what is a right angle triangle. So a right angle triangle always consists of three things, a height, a base and hypotenuse. And the longest side of any any right angle triangle is known as hypotenuse. Another important fact about the right angle triangle is every right angle triangle consists of one ninety degree angle, right? Okay, so in Pythagoras theorem, basically we're gonna talk about the relationship between the sides of um, the triangles. Okay, so I uh, want to know the relationship of C. B and A, and there is a formula. The formula says A score, okay, which is the hypotenuse, is equal to B score plus C score, okay? By having this statement, or let's say a formula or a theorem, or whatever we can call it, we can find the missing sides of a right angle triangle, all right? So uh, let's, let's make an example for that. Let's make an example for that, okay? Let's put numbers here. All right, so I would like to say that my base is 4 cm and my height is 6 cm. I would like to know how much is my hypotenuse, all right? So uh, first I will come and have a look on this triangle, okay? I would say that, okay, there is a right angle, okay, there is a height, there is a base, there is a hypotenuse. So there is a triangle and this is the time that we can use the Pythagoras Theorem. So what's the formula? Very good. The formula is A score, which is the hypotenuse, is equal to B score, which is the base, plus C square. Alright? Very easy. What we do is we just substitute the value because it's because it is x. So we write x square is equal to base is 4 square plus C is 6 square. Very simple. Alright, so then I say x squared is equal to 16 plus 36, which x is equal to uh, 2 is going to be 52. 52. Alright, remember that when you reach at the end of square root, we can write as x is equal to square root of 52. 